And welcome, welcome, welcome to the Part-Time Nerd Podcast. That's right. We are back, boys and girls, back with more Doctor Who. We've been gone for a while. My computer decided to crap out. Uh, took a little while to get it replaced, but we are back. And Mr. Fancy Francis is back with us. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, great. Right. I'm excited to talk about these. It's like you said, we had the break and I was just itching to get back. Especially because we left on a cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah. Right? The last episode we watched was a cliffhanger. We're back with season one, episode 10, The Doctor Dances. And when we last left our heroes, they were being surrounded, which is a common theme. I'm finding so far in Doctor Who, he gets surrounded a lot. Um, but in, in this, just to kind of recap, you've got they're in uh, London during uh, uh, one of the World Wars, and you've got bombs going off everywhere. You got this little kid who has a gas mask that's essentially his face, and he's turning other people into that, asking everybody if they're his mommy. One of the creepiest things ever, just walking around, mommy. Mommy, are you my mommy? No, no, not me, kid. Um, but the doctor gets out this time by sending him to his room. He just says, go to your room right now. I'm I'm very upset and you need to go to your room. And he, they do. They all go lay down. I was like, OK, that's just so weird. <laughs> like, I don't know. Whenever that happened, I was like, really? Yeah, We're going to let that work. Of- I mean, you got to get out somehow, right? And, and you got, and it can't be the same way every time. You got to have new ways, and it, it's always fun. Like I, I'm definitely enjoying the Doctor because he's he's almost childlike in in his portrayal, right? Like he does that. And he turns. I was like, glad that worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He yeah. He's even like that shouldn't have worked, but it did. Right? Yay! You got Jack, who's there with him, and Rose. They're both just kind of like that. That was your play. It's like it. It worked, so let's go. Um, you're finding out that all of this is kind of happening because of Jack. He brought a medical transport down that he says was empty. Come to find out, it's got what were they? What were the things called? Nano nanogenes, yeah, in it, filled with nanogenes, uh, which completely screws everything up. Screws the kid up uh, because the kid was dead, and they didn't. It's a new planet, so they didn't know how to to fix him right so they just kind of brought him back zombie like i guess like, yeah right? it, and <laughs> even though he was like explaining why they did what they did it still is like that doesn't really make sense but okay it was it was very and then because that's how they fixed the first kid that's what they did with everybody else yeah so anybody else who got hurt uh, or or the touched by him because the nanogenes were in him and they would go from him to to the next person they would then turn that i've got to fix this person this is how these people are fixed uh which was a little again a bit of a stretch i thought especially once like you get the the end result which we'll get to like how everything is fixed i'm like this just doesn't seem yeah I mean, I get it. It's, it's sci-fi, campy. It's campy, suspend reality, all that. But I'm just like, mm, OK, I mean, I'll let it yeah. slide. Right. Um, wh- what are some of your thoughts on this episode? Well, I mean, I loved whenever they go exploring after doctor says, you know, go to your room and then they right. find his room. Yes. Like that was really <laughs> creepy. <laughs> Because like they they were they found like this room where, for some reason, they were like experimenting on this kid or something like that. It wasn't too clear what they were doing. Yeah, it was a little confusing. And then, anyway, so they go inside and realize like there's drawings of like this little kid looking for his mom, and so that explains why he's always saying, "You know, are you my mommy?" type thing. It's really creepy. But then all of a sudden, they're like. I sent him to his room. This is his room. And then he just like popped out of nowhere. It's like, what's up, boys and girls? You're like, oh, snap. Like, yeah, we got ourselves in trouble on this one. So I kind of like how it came back to like, even though it was ridiculous that this worked, but uh, we still got in trouble because of it. So, And they but, still uh, got surrounded again. 
yeah. and again and again. Like it was just nonstop yeah. getting surrounded. <laughs> so I mean, overall, I, I mean, I think it was it, like like you said, the way it ends. I'm not a fan of, but leading up to that, I thought it was kind of fun and creepy. Is it? It you know, I, which is nice because yeah. like till this point, there's a lot of just like silly, random, odd, crazy things. But this is like the first like creepy episode, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> you get little kids involved, and you start getting creepy, right? Especially yeah. when the kids walk Facts. around wearing gas masks, just asking everyone if they're their mommy, right? Yeah. Like, just yeah um i i did get a kick out of rose was i don't know if she's getting a little um boredom from being you know trapped in the ship all the time or whatever but of course she she's flirting with jack she's flirting with the, the doctor openly in this one like with the dancing and she had that look like she loves a flirt yeah 100 percent um, but yeah, she's flirting with the doctor, trying to get the doctor to dance and all that. And then she gets the little shocking reveal when they're, they're going to go distract some guards and Jack's like, yeah, no, it's not going to work. If you go over there, I've gotten to know him quite well. I'll go handle this. And she's like, what? And Doctor's like, he's from the 51st century. Things are a little bit more fluid in, in, in that time. Um, she's like, how fluid? Well, I'm just saying, <laughs> You name it, he's going after it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you get the big reveal that Nancy is actually 21 um, and Jamie is her kid. And so in order to fix everything, you know, the doctor kind of nudges her to he's not going to stop. You need to go tell him that you're his mom. And so she does and repeatedly then hugs him. And the nano genes figure out that that's the mom and this is the way he is supposed to be. So that changes him. And then the doctor takes control of the nano genes somehow and reprograms them and sends them off to fix everybody else. And as he yells repeatedly time and time and time again, everybody lives. Everybody lives. You know, <laughs> So my question is, why couldn't he just program them before that? He needed the DNA? Maybe. The... I, I guess. I, I guess, I, okay. You know, I guess that kind of makes sense. I mean, I get it, right? Uh, but at the same time, it's it's what it was. It was probably the first moment where I just kind of went, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, but I still enjoyed it. I still have fun with it. Again, I, I really like the doctor in this episode because he is very, very childlike, you know, with, for lack of a better term. He's very excited. He's very, you know, even more so over the top than he normally is. Just he figures something out and he gets super excited and just wants to celebrate. Right. Mm. But I mean, all in all, good movie and or not movie, good episode. Pretty and, much a movie. <laughs> right. Uh, Cause you got, this is a two parter. So you're looking at about two hours. So, mm -hmm. but you bring, they bring Jack on board. Uh, Jack's now joining the crew. We'll see if he lasts longer than, what was it? Adam who lasted a whole 15 minutes before they got rid of him. <laughs> yeah. It was like maybe a half an episode. You're like, Oh, okay. Yeah. That guy didn't last so long, but yeah. So we're bringing Jack on board and then you get some more, quips between the doctor and rose about jack she's like he's the doctor's like oh i remember to dance rose let's dance she's like actually uh jack wanted to dance he's like yeah but with who you or me and then they um, all just, laugh right and then they all <laughs> laugh and dance and every, everything is good but all in all another great episode I, i'm definitely enjoying my my journey through the world of doctor who as as we're coming up we've only got 14 episodes in the season i saw so we've got like five episodes left so looking for no i'm sorry four episodes left we're on episode number 10 i was, about to say, I was like that doesn't add up my numbers are numbers are tough like 
they're hard. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got anything else on this episode? Uh, I don't. I mean, I pretty much agree with what you said. It, it was a fun one. I liked that it's really kind of the first creepy one. And I mean, yeah. I, I like that they're trying to hit the different types of show that it like overall yeah it's a sci-fi but you know you get the the goofy episode the serious episode the scary so it's just like they're trying to hit all these different versions and it's fun yeah definitely for sure definitely for sure guys if you haven't watched doctor who check it out and if you watched it watch it again watch it again along with us as we go through this um we're gonna start firing these bad boys out making sure we're getting these out to you maybe twice a week at least once a week, we'll see. Uh, depends on how the uh, how everything goes. But yeah, we're definitely going to keep them coming. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, comment, follow, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If there's anything you want us to watch, shoot me over an email, part-time nerd podcast at gmail.com. Until next time, we'll talk to you later. Deuces. <laughs>